Hello, my name is Julian Edgar and I'm the author of the book Small Wheeled Pedal Machines, A Better Way of Cycling. What I want to do in this introductory video is talk about some of the advantages of small wheeled bikes. Small wheeled bikes in general. Why do I like them so much and how did I get into them? Well, I got into them rather serendipitously. I didn't expect to at all. But my wife was running a business selling bikes and one day she brought home this incredible folding bike. It was called a Brompton and it's probably one of the best folding bikes in the world. And I was sort of looking at it and looking at how incredibly compact it was. And I thought it must be sort of a pretend machine, not a very good machine to ride. And I unfolded it. I remember riding down the street where we lived and thinking, this is just like a normal bike. It's got a normal seating position. It goes like a normal bike. And yet it folds up so small, you can tuck it under your arm and take it anywhere. And that was just transformational. Look what you could do when suddenly you had a bike that you could carry with you on public transport, you could take with you when you were going on holidays without any effort, without having big bike boxes and all that sort of stuff. So I started realizing there were some huge advantages in small wheeled bicycles. And the primary one is that they are compact. I've talked about portability, being able to carry one with you, especially those that fold or disassemble, but they're also compact to store. So rather than needing a big shed or a garage to put your bike in, you can store it under your desk. You can store it behind a bookcase. You can store it almost anywhere. Another reason I like small wheeled bikes is they are nimble. There's less rotational inertia in the big wheels. They steer more nimbly. They're, they're quick and exciting to ride because they can dart in and out of small spaces. And it's only after you've ridden a small wheeled bike for a while and you go back to a big wheeled bike, and I've got one of those as well, you think, oh, this is really unwieldy. This isn't nimble at all. Another reason I like small wheeled bikes is they are different. And because they are different, they are interesting. If you look at a typical diamond framed, large wheeled bike, really they're 99% all the same. But small wheeled bikes are much more innovative in what the designer chooses to achieve. And I'll give you an example, a recumbent trike. I love recumbent trikes, three wheeled bicycles, where you're lying back on your, on, on your rear, on your back, pedaling in front of you, incredibly comfortable on that hammock like seat and incredibly stable. Now, they're achievable because you are using small wheels. Why does that make them achievable? Well, they can put up with the side forces that a trike actually develops. So innovative, innovative bikes, innovative pedal machines are very often small wheeled because that gives you other advantages you can apply as well. And they're practical. I have, uh, how many now? Four, four small wheeled bikes. I have two Moultons, I have a Brompton, I have a Birdie, and, and they're practical, they're usable, they're usable every day. Uh, the the Moulton, uh, it's got a low crossbar, step over it, right down to the post office and back. I do that every day. The Brompton, fold it, keep it in the boot of my car, the trunk of my car, uh, go for a ride whenever I feel like it. I might have to travel to a city to, to do some business, and I want to go for a ride, I just take the bike out the boot, erect it, takes what, 30 seconds, and off I go for a lovely ride. They're practical, they're useful, they're exciting, they're fun. That's why I like small wheeled pedal machines and I think you'll find my book that I've written on them really, really interesting. Thank you.